Good morning. Hello. How are you going? Breakfast with a side of vlog. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna swap with you because you're my cameraman for the day. Of course. So, oh. Lee, Best I, I thought I'd hand you the, the phone slash camera because today, aside from doing our usual this morning with the whole I stream you edit thing, later on I want to go out filming. Oh my god. So it'll be fine. You'd be. I'm a cameraman. It's Tuesday, stream has started. Lee's over here editing. Hi, Lee. Hi. And uh, after the stream, uh, I, I mean, during the stream, I'll have two pieces of content I want to record. One is the Laugh You Lee's I got you guys to challenge me with. So I haven't seen anything yet. I've very carefully not looked at people who have tagged me on Twitter and used the hashtag. I've ignored you in, until today. So I'll be doing that in the stream. Uh, and then I also want to do some sort of arty thing. And I'm thinking either, like, I mean, I saw all of these laid out on my desk and I thought, hmm, that could be a video. Um, but I was thinking of doing something that was more along the lines of like a, a timed art challenge. So I'll put that to a vote and I'll, I'll see what people want out of the two. Meanwhile, they're all sort of watching and, and gathering in the stream. Oh, no, they're not because it's locally recording. Ah, this is, this is my special kind of stupid. I thought I started the stream and let people sort of gather in there. I have to, I'll start the song again. And I'll go, Twitch, there you go. Now it's live, except it's muted. Soundtrack has started, okay. God, I'm an idiot. They've been in here waiting. It's like, oh, it's gonna start any minute now. I thought it was streaming, <laughs> come on. Oh, I hope today's not gonna be one of those days too. Anyways, now the stream has officially started, people will gather. It's muted. I'll start in one minute and uh, and we'll get making the content. But after that, I'm gonna get Lee's help. We're actually gonna go out on location filming and the location will be probably behind a bunch of shops and warehouses diving into dumpsters. So that'll be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, in the left corner, weighing in it, it's none of your business, me. Hi. Hey going, welcome to the stream. Okay, that's stream part one done. The try not to laugh challenge. I'm not sure if I won or not. I feel like I won, but they're told they're telling me that I cracked at the end, so I'm gonna put it towards a vote in the YouTube video. They voted and it was 60% voted that they thought I cracked, but I'm stubborn and, and uh, competitive, so I'm gonna let YouTube vote when that video comes out. In the meantime, I'm putting it towards a poll as to what I'm gonna do next for my last activity. I had two ideas, and the one that has won is... The permanent marker artwork. That'll be fun. Woohoo! So I had these things lying around, and I just thought I'd try and make something cool with these. Yay! Ah, <sighs> so that's the stream done. I am gonna pack up in here for now because we're gonna go have a lunch break and then go filming out in the streets, so that'll be fun. How you doing, Lee? I'm all right, how are you? Good. I like your hat. Thanks, man. Are you enjoying our activity today? Do you know what? I've been on some adventures, and this is definitely one, one of them. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> Not the good one. Um, so we're dumpster diving. We've, we've taken some B-roll. That was more for sort of, more for funsies, B-roll, but now we're actually looking for something that I can make stuff out of. It's probably gonna be foam and cardboard, but yeah, anyways. Uh, a place I've found reliable is the back of Harvey Norman. However, it looks like their rubbish was emptied recently. Let's see how we go. So, how how do we go? We got some haul. We act, like the the destination I saved for last was the, the worthwhile destination to dumpster dive. Yeah. Electrical shops is the, the giveaway for that. If you go behind appliance stores where they sell TVs and fridges and stuff, there's always loads of cardboard and, and foam and stuff. Anyway, mm. we have material. I think we have some good funny moments too, <laughs> with some interruptions and some awkward B-roll. Yeah, that was very nearly a police issue. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you know it's good content. You shouldn't have hit him. The closer someone is to triple zero or 911. The more views. Yeah, I, the more zeros you I get. I do genuinely need to shower now, <laughs> so I'm actually gonna do that. Oh, there's horse racing. Show it. Oh, I can't. Horses. I'm just gonna do that. What? Okay. What I like to do is when you're trying to show something but you're in selfie mode, is mm. just turn the camera around and blindly do it. Oh, you could have, yeah. It's perfect. Sometimes you don't show anything. 
but sometimes you do. And they'll never know. They'll never know. Just like they'll never know how hot and sweaty we are. <laughs> Quick shot on the elephant. Do you see the elephant? <gasps> Oh, it's just I missed it. They missed it. Oh, what, those whip pans. Dude, oh. I thought you were a camera guy. What's going on? Uh, an editor. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start getting you to make the art as well. I'm just gonna delegate as much as I can. I did. I did some art. It might be good. Try saying "Get out, ladies and gentlemen." We're actually. G'day, everyone, and welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. that was terrible. I'll do it again. Yeah. G'day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza. The, the English twang is an improvement. Is it? Yeah, I feel like I need a change it up a bit. Okay, so as promised, last week I said you guys can ask some questions for Lee, so instead of me taking the question of the day, we're going to rapid fire through a bunch of questions. Lee's going to give us some rapid fire answers. Uh, Isabella wants to know, as a 13 year old, how you get a job being an editor. It's her first time and they want to learn how to get paid doing it. Uh, well, I went the complete nerdy route, went through uni to do it. I would say just start editing your own stuff and then put it out there and get feedback. As far oh. as getting paid, do you like how do you chase it independently versus like professionally? Uh, it's hard. To, it, it, it's all very similar because the industry is set up where you start at the bottom and you work your way through. Mm -hmm. Whereas I don't want to do that. I'm kind of found my own people I want to work with and trying to do my own thing. But you did use um, websites we actually found lead through Star Now, which is sort of like a media auditioning website, whether it be for you know roles or technical jobs and stuff so yeah you can use there are things that you can use to find work as well that's a good one lee how much experience do you have before working with jazza is it strange working in the same room as your boss have you done that a lot uh experience i've been using editing since i was like 16 so that's like eight years mm -hmm. professionally probably four years but that i'm going to include my uni with that because i did a lot of freelance work on the side cool and what's it like being in the same room as me oh i was going to answer the more <laughs> default same room as your boss. I'm fine with having a boss. Jazz is a whole different old game. No, it's good. It's really good. That's he, he's required to say that. I was paid to say that. <laughs> Andrea XT asks how we met. We sort of answered that one. Yeah, online. Um, and, but also points out your hair was sticking out. I know, it looks awful. I've been very self conscious of it today. <laughs> and boy, nobody likes. So how do you feel working with Jazza and how tall are you? Uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to work with Jazza. Yay! I love it. And he's quite tall. I am tall. Are you and Jazza like Bezzies now? Asks Emmy has no life. We did spend a significant portion of today talking about Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> and World of Warcraft and Batman. So we did. Things are going well. I I, th I think you could say things are getting pretty serious. <laughs> PVR asks, how's the job interview with Jazza? That's it. That's an interesting. It's question. a good one. It was very professional, but it wasn't an interview. Mm -hmm. It was more because I was in the UK when I applied. It was more of a send me what you got. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to send you what I got and make it look good. Mm. And now make it look even better. And, but the emails exchange. Were... It was a, it was more of an audition than an interview, yeah. really. But yeah, I, I guess like, I think that sort of answers it. Yeah. yeah. This was sort of a question for me, but I'm curious about your perspective because I answered it in a different video. But how is it for you seeing all the raw footage for my videos? This was asked by Nick D. Clements. Um... I don't know. It's, it's hard to answer that because it's not. You must, you must be used to it because yeah. when you're editing, you sort of you sort of zone it out a bit. Like I don't cringe at my own mistakes, but that's because I'm used to editing myself. But I'm sure if you're a professional editor, you're just sort of used to outtakes all the time. Yeah, I think I think the difference is you guys as viewers see Jazza as Jazza, draw with Jazza, Jazza, whereas yeah. I, I see you as as who you are as a person. And I actually think it helped that Lee hadn't really seen my stuff when he applied for the job, which is good for me because it means that you're a fresh, you know, clean yeah. slate and there's no, I don't know, there's no awkwardness. I think it makes it an interaction a little uncomfortable if you're trying to work on the same level and there's something shifting one way or the other. And if someone's a fan of your content, it does shift it in that yeah. end. So it's helped us keep it more professional and then work as colleagues from the beginning, which has been good. This is a good one because we I streamed today and you're, yeah. you're working well as streaming. Kate, Kat, Cake Kitten says, do you ever get distracted by Jazza when you're recording videos and you're editing? I, I do, particularly from one today, which you'll see in the future. I think you say something about how you kept making very rude in your endos. Oh, okay. you, you slam the desk and you get up and like yell at the top of your voice. I yeah. thought you were actually angry, so I had to like hide behind the monitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, 
I worked myself up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw one the other day. I can't find one here. I don't know who asked it. But what was your advice for editors? Like, what, what would you say? Oh, yeah, the one I, I answered and I gave my perspective from a YouTuber thing. Oh, did you? What would you say? Because I, I gave my... Probably going to be similar. Yeah. Go on. I, I, the, the two main things when it comes to editing are pace and time. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter like what program you use or anything like that. But if you, you need to be able to learn how to pace things and whether the tone is right. And the only way you can do that is yeah. by editing or yeah. by consuming as many different things as you can. That doesn't mean just mm-hmm. films. I mean like YouTube, TV yeah. series, music videos, right. anything that's been edited, commercials. Have you watched my videos before working with me? I don't think so. Had you? No. Oh, you know what though? What? I'd seen Larry before. You kidding me? I noticed it when I was editing it today. Oh, that's awesome! I saw Larry when Larry came out. <sighs> That's brilliant. Yeah. It's, and it's so cool because they're like two different universes from each other in yeah. a way. I think that'll do it for the questions for today. Thank you for being here this week and last week. My we've got pleasure. a lot done. Uh, and yeah, I feel like we've really hit our jive. Lee has, by the way, ever since the, the pretty much ever since the Pokemon video making Pokemon into monsters, I think most videos since then have been edited by you. All but one. All but one. Yeah. Which one was that? The... Dynamic poses. Oh yeah. So like, and, and about 95% of those videos, so I usually come in in the middle and at the end to make my tweaks yeah. and notes. Um, and, that, and that's really cool because that makes sure that I get to keep the tone how I want it, how you guys are used to it. But he also has the freedom to experiment and surprise me, which is really cool. Like that random wink in the video <laughs> that went up yesterday, went, that was just like, I... I really enjoy now that I can actually watch an edit of my video and piss myself laughing. Good. Because I didn't see it coming, so that was awesome. Anyways, thank you for joining us Pleasure. today. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, not him. You're going. I'm going. Leave. Okay. Okay. I want my chair back. <laughs> okay. Bye.